Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Michelle from the East Hampton Library, and I'm going to hear, here to read you a story today about Thanksgiving. The name of the book is Pinkalicious, a Thanksgiving Helper. It was Thanksgiving Day. I could hear Mommy baking in the kitchen and could smell the turkey cooking in the oven. Outside, Daddy was raking big piles of leaves. Let's go outside, I said to my little brother, Peter. We we yelled as we jumped into the leaves. Daddy gave me and Peter rakes. Why don't you help me, he asked. We raked the leaves into more piles. Happy Thanksgiving! I shouted as I leaped into the leaves again. Peter did a cannonball yelling, gobble, gobble, gobble. I think that's enough help from you two, Daddy said. Maybe you can go inside and help your mom. Let's pretend it's the first Thanksgiving, I said, putting a pink feather in my hair and a big hat on Peter's head. You can be a pilgrim, Pete, and I will be Princess Pink Feather. This is my wild unicorn, Golden Tail. Okay, Peter said. Now what? Follow me, I said. Mommy had decorated the living room and it looked turkey -ristic. Well, almost. The painting hung crookedly on the wall. It was too high for us to reach, so I balanced on Golden Tail. Crunch! Mommy hurried in from the kitchen. Are you all right? You're not supposed to climb the furniture, Pinkalicious, she said. I felt terrible. I'm sorry, Mommy. We were just trying to help. Never mind. I'm sure Daddy can fix it, she said. I need to run to the store. Pinkalicious, Peter, please remind Daddy to check on the turkey while I'm out. Maybe there's something we can help Mommy with in the kitchen, I said to Peter. Follow me. I spotted a bag of marshmallows and sweet potatoes ready for mashing. Look, Pilgrim Pete, Mommy is going to make her marshmallow-licious sweet potato casserole. Let's help her. We looked around for the potato masher but couldn't find it. I know, Peter said. He ran out of the kitchen and came back with the badminton rackets. Who knew helping could be so much fun? I said as we mashed the potatoes. Cling! Daddy rushed into the kitchen. Careful, he said. He bent down and picked up the turkey-shaped salt and pepper shakers. I think I could fix these. I slumped. We are the worst Thanksgiving helpers in the history of Thanksgiving. No, you're not. Why don't you set the table while I work on these? Pilgrim Pete, let's set the table so it looks just like the first Thanksgiving. I said, do you think they had forks and knives? I can use my arrowhead for a knife, Peter said. I know they didn't have light bulbs back then, I said. We need to find some candles. Didn't Native Americans rub rocks together to light a fire? I think so, and they probably use leaves for napkins. I bet they use seashells for cups. We need corn for the table, too. Pilgrim Pete, do you smell that? We looked at each other. The turkey! Daddy, don't let the turkey burn, I yelled. Daddy opened the oven and took out the golden brown turkey, and it cooked perfectly. Mommy walked in. Hmm, the turkey smells good, she said. You can thank Princess Pink Feather and Pilgrim Pete for that, Daddy said. They reminded me just in time. He also helped set the table. I said, come look. We set it so it looks like the first Thanksgiving, Peter said proudly. Mommy hugged us. Can I have a feather in my hair too, Princess Pink Feather, she asked. My fire starting technique is a little rusty. Mind if I use matches for the candles instead of these rocks? Daddy asked as he put on a big hat. We sat down to eat. Peter tried to pierce his peas with the arrowhead. I'm thankful for forks, he said. Daddy laughed. I'm thankful for matches. I'm thankful we don't have to cook a turkey over an open fire, Mommy said. I'm thankful for cups. These seashells don't hold much apple cider, I said. 
Peter bit into Mommy's decorative corn, which I'm thankful for rolls. I'm going to miss our Thanksgiving helpers. Do you think Princess Pink Feather and Pilgrim Pete could stick around for a while, Mommy asked? I giggled. We'll see what we can do, but first please play us the marshmallow sweet potatoes. The end. Well, boys and girls, thank you for joining me for our Pinkalicious Thanksgiving Helper picture book today, and I hope to see you at the East Hampton Library soon. Bye!